It's one of the creepiest hotels in all of existence, and the patrons are just dying to get in. My name is Tim, and today at Channel Frederator, we're counting down 107 facts about Hotel Transylvania. Let's get started. Number one, Hotel Transylvania was the 19th highest grossing film of 2012. In case you were wondering, number one was The Avengers, which basically printed money. Number two, it was the feature film directing debut of Gendy Tartakovsky, known for creating shows like Dexter's Laboratory, Samurai Jack, and Star Wars The Clone Wars. Number three, Dracula is voiced by none other than Adam Sandler. Number four, Dracula's wife, Martha, is voiced by Adam Sandler's wife, Jackie Sandler. Sandler. Number five, and the infant version of Mavis is voiced by Adam Sandler's daughter, Sadie Sandler, keeping family inside the family. Number six, the werewolf pup Winnie is also voiced by Sadie Sandler. Number seven, the film's commentary track reveals that the town seen at the end of the film where the fair takes place is loosely based on a real world town known as Sigiswara. Sigiswara is located in Romania and is known as the birthplace of Vlad the Impaler, the real life Count Dracula. Number eight, the license plate on Dracula's Curse is in Romanian. Number nine, if you take a look around Mavis's room, you'll notice a poster on her wall that closely resembles her voice actress, Selena Gomez. It's a lot like the poster of Selena Gomez that I have. Is that creepy? Number 10. At Mavis's birthday party, the label on the record seen on the turntable says, Oh, who said so? Sung by Mr. Charles Penrose. This is actually the name of a real record from the pre-World War I era. Number 11. Several of the film's characters were designed to resemble their voice actors. Number 12. Hotel Transylvania was released on September 28th, which is actually World Rabies Day. What is, what is World Rabies Day? Are we celebrating? the disease or awareness of it? Number 13, Hotel Transylvania was Adam Sandler's second role in an animated feature film. The first was Eight Crazy Nights in 2002. Number 14, an early version of the story included a musical number for Murray. He was going to sing and dance alongside his sidekicks, the Mumets. Presumably they couldn't get the rights to the Monster Mash in time. Number 15, Hotel Transylvania began development in 2006 with Anthony Stocky and David Feist attached to direct. Then in 2008, Jill Colton took over as director. In 2010, the directing position was handed off to Chris Jenkins and Tom Wilderman before finally being given to Gendy Tartakovsky in February 2011. Number 16, Miley Cyrus was cast to play Mavis but dropped out of the role to focus on other projects. Dracula's daughter ended up being voiced by another Disney child star, Selena Gomez. Number 17, due to his arrest, CeeLo Green will not be reprising his role as the voice of Murray the Mummy in Hotel Transylvania 2. Keegan-Michael Key will be taking over the role. Number 18, in the second film, Mel Brooks will be voicing Dracula's father, Vlad. Ironic because Brooks directed the 1995 comedy film Dracula, Dead and Loving It. Number 19, Hotel Transylvania 2 will be the first feature animated sequel directed by Gendy Tartakovsky. Number 20, this film will be the 10th time Adam Sandler and Kevin James have acted alongside one another if you count film and television. Number 21, for the year 2015 alone, the film will be their second performance together. Number 22, Hotel Transylvania 2 is Kevin James's fourth animated film. He's previously been in Monster House, Barnyard, and the original Hotel Transylvania. Number 23, the film is Adam Sandler and Keegan-Michael Key's second collaboration. Their first was the 2011 film, Just Go With It. Number 24, Hotel Transylvania was made on a budget of $85 million, which might be more than buying an actual hotel in actual Transylvania. Number 25, upon its release, it set a record for highest grossing September opening weekend ever. Number 26, Hotel Transylvania was nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Animated Feature Film. Number 27, Mavis turns 118 in the first film. That makes her 97 years older than the 21-year-old Jonathan. She looks good for 118. Number 28, Mavis's birthday is September 28th. That makes her a Libra. Number 29, after taking over as director of the film, Gendy Tartakovsky rewrote the script in less than a year. Number 30, Hotel Transylvania premiered on September 8th, 2012 at the Toronto International Film Festival. Number 31, when Dracula is heading to Mavis's room in the first film, he walks past room 174. Pretty weird when you notice that the room belonging to Mavis is also room 174. Did he just accidentally pass it once? Maybe it's like the Flintstones, you just keep running past the same tiles. Number 32, when Johnny romantically shows Mavis the sunrise by having her stay in his shadow, it doesn't really make sense. If your whole body was in the shadow of an object, you wouldn't be able to see the light source. 
The sun is shown being reflected in the dead center of Mavis's eyes, which means that the sunlight would be touching her, which means she should be sizzling to a crisp. Number 33, when the characters are playing bingo, something is amiss. The bingo lady calls out numbers and they stamp in the wrong place. For example, when she calls out N27, Eunice stamps I27, which in fairness, actual bingo cards should only have certain letters be available in certain columns. This is another thing that I care deeply about. Number 34, the Sony leaks revealed that for hotel Transylvania 2, Gendy Tartakovsky had to work around the Sandler camp's multiple notes. Former Sony animation chief Bob Osher referred to Tartakovsky as an amazing trooper and mentioned that the director had even received notes on his animation choices. Number 35, Sony had to follow strict rules when it came to character designs due to various trademark and copyright issues with Universal Studios. Dracula's cape couldn't be red, and he couldn't have Bella Lugosi's pronounced widow's peak. Number 36. In the film, garlic causes Dracula's throat to swell. Number 37. Unlike some other portrayals of vampires, Hotel Transylvania's bloodsuckers burn gradually in the sun rather than instantaneously. Number 38. Sun damage to Dracula's bat form is still there when he transforms back into his human form. It affects both his body and clothing, which is interesting because his bat self is definitely naked. Number 39. Dracula Dracula is able to quickly heal injuries and damage to his clothing. I still don't get the clothing part. Are his clothes part of the body? Are they alive? Number 40. Dracula has the power of hypnosis, but it's not hard to avoid. It's ineffective if you're wearing contact lenses. Number 41. Speaking of contact lenses, Jonathan removing his is the most disgusting thing Dracula's ever seen. Number 42. Don't think you can avoid Dracula's gaze with any old clear surface in front of your eyes, though. He could still hypnotize that airplane pilot through the glass. Contact lenses? No. Glass? Yes. Number 43. It seems that between the first and second films, Dracula's finally learned how to use a cell phone. Congrats! Number 44. No need to get nervous around Dracula. He doesn't drink real blood, just substitute blood. Number 45. Dracula mentions that Mavis's 118th birthday will be bigger than her sweet 116th and her bat mitzvah. Or is it bat mitzvah in this case? Number 46. Mavis's favorite foods are worm cakes and scream cheese. It's a gluten-free diet. Number 47. And she's great at sewing. Well, we are going to take a quick break from the facts so that I can tell you about a new show that we have coming out, which will be connecting cartoons with each other. So this coming week, we'll be connecting Adventure Time with Gravity Falls and showing you some of the neat personnel and ideas that got intermixed and mingled. It should be really cool and you should check it out. And now, back to the facts. Number 48. The name Mavis originates from the 1895 novel The Sorrow of Satan by Marie Corelli. The first Hotel Transylvania movie starts off in 1895. Coincidence? Personally, I thought the name Mavis originated with Mavis Beacon teaches typing. Number 49. Mavis must love viral diseases because she says holy rabies four times in the first film. Holy rabies! Maybe she just wants the movie to go viral. Number 50. If you find the music in the film catchy, you have Mark Mothersbaugh to thank because he wrote the soundtrack. Know what else he wrote? Everything is awesome from the Lego movie. Number 51. Gendy Tartakovsky has been open about the fact that he only took on the job of directing the film because he needed work after the cancellation of his series, Symbionic Titan. Don't get him wrong though, he's pleased with how Hotel Transylvania came out and excited for the sequel. Number 52. Yeah, the film started development in 2000 six, but it was actually first pitched all the way back in 2002. That's a whole 10 years before it was released. Number 53. Gendy Tartakovsky is a man of many talents. After he took over as director of the film, he not only had to rewrite it in less than a year, he also had to redesign the characters and re-supervise the animation. All in a day's work for one of the greatest legends in animation. Number 54. At one point in the film's development, Jonathan was going to be the final descendant of Abraham Van Helsing, the arch enemy of Dracula. Number 55. Early promotions of the film described Jonathan as Simon Van Helsing, a monster hunter who would fall in love with a vampire. The name is a combination of Simon Belmont from the Castlevania video game series and Van Helsing from the original Dracula. Number 56. For the design of Dennis in the second film, creators decided to mesh together one major trait from Jonathan and one from Mavis. They went for Jonathan's hair and Mavis's eyes. They kind of wound up with Conan O'Brien when they did that. Number 57. The jump tower that can be seen in the trailer for the second film is meant to be about 500 feet tall and 600 years old. This sounds like the beginning of a math problem that I had in algebra. Number 58. Dracula also jumped off the tower when he was a wee vampire, but it hasn't been upkept in hundreds of years and is now rickety and uneven. 
Not really something I'd recommend bringing your grandson on. Go! Number 59, as creators worked on the design of the jump tower, they also had to design how it would come apart once it fell, keeping each piece of the structure in mind. Number 60, the second film is set in a camp deep, deep, deep in the mountains of Transylvania. Production designer Mike Karinsky decided on the location of a crevice in the mountains after thinking over where a camp for monsters could remain undiscovered for years and years. My question is, why do the monsters have to be hidden? The monsters on Sesame Street coexist peacefully with humans. Number 61, the camp also had to be placed somewhere with no sunlight, pushing it deeper into the mountains. Number 62, originally when designing the main house of the camp, Mike Kerensky went for making it appear gothic and like an old school haunted house. Number 63, Gendy Tartakovsky suggested that the main house be more of a one story ranch house made of logs. Number 64, the final version of the main house ended up being a fusion of the two versions. Number 65, on the bulletin board scene when Frank is running around on fire in the trailer, one of the sheets of paper is a T-Mouse sign-up sheet. The names on it are a list of every artist on the film's visual development team. Number 66, there's also a flower identification chart which has the name of production designer Mike Kerensky's cat on it. Number 67, Mike Kerensky pointed out that everything on the film had to be designed down to the smallest details. Rocks, bushes, trees, flags, marshmallow sticks, you name it, artists designed it. Number 68, Mavis was homeschooled. Or was she hotel school? Number 69, Jonathan's name is likely an homage to the protagonist of Bram Stoker's Dracula, Jonathan Harker. Although, can we really call him the protagonist? Everybody roots for Dracula. Number 70, Jonathan has a multitude of patches on his backpack that implied he's traveled to France, Spain, the UK, Hungary, Denmark, Germany, Greece, Romania, and Mexico. Number 71, he he also has a miniature flag from Ireland. Number 72, Jonathan is big on music. From the first movie, it's revealed that he listens to Dave Matthews and Slipknot. I assume that to get along with Dracula, he'd have to learn to like pipe organ music a lot more. Number 73, Jonathan has six brothers and grew up sharing a room with them. Number 74, trailers don't necessarily match their films. In the first trailer for the original movie, Jonathan enters the hotel and says, hello? Dracula is shocked and exclaims, a human! Then Jonathan says, what is this place? In the actual clip, the animation all remains the same, but the characters don't say anything until Jonathan is trapped in the hotel's revolving door. Number 75, judging by Mavis's 118th birthday present from her mother, Martha was a skilled artist and poet. Number 76, a deleted scene from the prologue of the original film shows the first meeting between Martha and Dracula and follows their lives until the birth of Mavis. Number 77, though they're on posters and merchandise for the film, werewolf pups Wally and Wilbur never appear in Hotel Transylvania. But they're adorable, so we let them be on merch. That's okay. Number 78, some of the werewolf pups wear shirts with the circle A symbol, which is associated with anarchy and punk imagery. Number 79, director Gendy Tartakovsky has revealed that at one time, Griffin wore a more complete outfit, but we stripped him of his clothing to have more fun. It's hard to imagine you can articulate so much with so little until you try it. But what would Griffin have worn? According to designer Carter Goodrick, when Griffin was more fully attired, I envisioned him in a 1970s disco vibe, complete with gold chains and a toupee. Number 80, another idea that was scrapped during the film's development was Griffin being the hotel's bartender. He was going to serve cocktail concoctions and quips. A little slow tonight, isn't it? <laughs> Number 81, though he's invisible, Griffin has said himself that he has red curly hair. Number 82, Griffin can play the drums. Like most drummers, he's unfairly cast out of the spotlight. Number 83, on the film's official website, there was an audio clip of Wanda saying, Oh, Wayne, they're just marking their territory. This line wasn't said in the film, which is lucky for Dracula because it sounds like the hotel would have been a mess. Number 84, director Gendy Tartakovsky has revealed that scenes shown in the film's teaser trailer will play out differently in the actual film. For example, the jump tower crashing down was made as one dramatic shot in the teaser, which isn't how it plays out on the big screen. Number 85, trademark and copyright issues with Universal Studios also set rules for Sony to follow on Frankenstein's appearance. According to the list of criteria the studio needed to follow, Frankenstein couldn't be green or have electrodes on his neck. What if they were Pokemon electrodes? That would be a whole different set of issues. Number 86, producer Michelle Murdoka said that to get around the limitations, we tried bolts on his temples, we tried light bulbs on his neck. Nothing would get by, so we went without bolts and we made him blue. 
Number 87, Frankenstein's Fear of Fire is a reference to Universal Studios' 1931 film, Frankenstein. Fire your bad! We know. Number 88, the first film was accompanied by a traditionally animated short titled Good Night, Mr. Foot in some screenings. Written and directed by Gendy Tartakovsky, it featured the character Bigfoot from the film. But if you missed it in theaters, no worries because it was included on the film's DVD and Blu-ray releases. Number 89, Good Night, Mr. Foot was also animated by Gendy Tartakovsky with the help of Rough Draft Studios. What can't the man do? The short was created by Tartakovsky in just four weeks during Hotel Transylvania's final production stages. Number 90, the short was animated in the style of Bob Clampett, Tex Avery, and Chuck Jones. Also animation legends, in case you didn't know that. Number 91, a television series based on Hotel Transylvania focusing on the teenage years of Mavis and her friends will air in early 2017. It was developed and produced by Canadian entertainment company Nelvana in partnership with Sony Pictures Animation. Number 92, Fans of the American girl group Fifth Harmony rejoice. The group recorded a song for Hotel Transylvania 2 titled I'm in Love with a Monster. It was featured in the film's trailer. Number 93, Esmeralda the Rat from the first film is, of course, named after the beautiful gypsy street dancer from Victor Hugo's novel The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Number 94, Quasimodo, the antagonist of the first film, is played by John Lovitz, who is known for his roles as Artie Zip in The Simpsons and Calico from the first Cats and Dogs film. It's rumored that Quasimodo will be a secondary antagonist of Hotel Transylvania 2, but only time will tell. Number 95, pronunciation is not Quasimodo's strong point. Throughout the entire first film, he incorrectly calls his pet rat Esmeralda instead of Esmeralda. Number 96, much like her husband, Eunice was subject to strict rules on her appearance as well due to trademark and copyright issues with Universal Studios. For example, she couldn't be called the Bride of Frankenstein and couldn't have the bride's trademark white lightning bolt hair streaks. Murdoka said, it could not be a lightning bolt, so we made it a streak. There couldn't be two of them, so we made it one. Number 97, Hotel Transylvania 2 will include a new character, Dracula's father, Vlad, based on Vlad the Impaler, a prince of Wallachia who served as the inspiration for Count Dracula. Number 98, Steve was named after Steve Andrews, the protagonist of the 1958 film, The Blob. Number 99, Due to trademark issues, Steve is green instead of red, like the creature from The Blob. Number 100, in Hotel Transylvania 2, Steve has been renamed Blobby. Number 101, Blobby knows how to drive a moped. Number 102, here's a few facts about the hotel itself. Two popular dishes on the menu, deviled lizard eggs and worm cakes. Number 103, blood beaters, a bagel, and screen cheese will only cost you $5. That's a steal. Number 104, don't go looking in your phone book for the hotel's number. I know you'd kill for a reservation, but it's unlisted because they'd only take calls from the dead. Number 105, get your ghoul face on because Hotel Transylvania 2 is hitting theaters on September 25th, 2015. Number 106, the hotel doesn't need doorbells because it has shrunken talking heads. And finally, number 107, Hotel Transylvania is on TripAdvisor and it has rave reviews. Seriously though, check out the page because there's some really funny stuff.